Hey everyone, I know I look crazy, but you know, it's wash day and I'm ready to get my curls back. I'm ready, you know? So, what would further ado, let's get started. So first, what we're gonna be using today is, y'all know, my favorite bottle, Olaplex number three treatment, okay? This is a, basically a hair bonding treatment, so, I will explain in more detail in another video as to why I started using this bottle, but it has been my holy grail in getting my curls back to popping. Okay. okay, so I just split my hair into four sections. Spray my hair with some water. Take your Olaplex. much is pretty good because remember this stuff is expensive so you want to use enough to get the job done but not too much where you run out too fast so now I'm just gonna apply that Olaplex treatment in my hair like I said before I did spray my hair with warm water so my hair could absorb the product better and I'm just gonna finger detangle and rub that into my strands and I'm gonna repeat this process throughout my whole sections Now that I'm done applying the Olaplex to all of my sections, now I'm just going to let that sit for 20 minutes while it do its thing. And now I'm going to show you what I'm going to do for the next step to getting my hair to revert back to its curly state. I'm going to use the Acai Clay Mask and Apple Cider Vinegar Combo. And this stuff is so key in reverting your curls back to where it needs to be. Items you're going to need. Of course, the Acai Clay Mask and Apple Cider Vinegar, a plastic bowl, and also something plastic to mix it with. Do not use metal for this mixture. Now, I don't typically measure how much of the mask I put into the bowl. I kind of just eyeball it. Now, when it comes to the Apple Cider Vinegar, you want to make sure that it's the Braggs and it's the one that with the mother. That one is the raw and unfiltered, which is the best one to use for this mixture. And you're just going to keep pouring that vinegar until you have a nice consistency, which I will show you right now. So before I put the mask in my hair, I'm just going to rinse out the treatment that I had previously. That is, again, the Olaplex treatment. And I'm going to keep my hair in those same four sections. And a little tip here when it comes to having masks and making sure that you have enough for all of your sections, you're going to just put, put the mask in four sections with the spoon. That ensures that you won't run out of mask and have to make another batch because that is so annoying. And this is what my hair is looking like. And you're probably like, girl, where is the curls? but don't worry, trust the process. In sections, you wanna make sure that you apply the mask from your ends to your roots. Now this mask, it, depending on the consistency, you're gonna to need to spray your hair with more water, but just be very gentle when you're applying this mask and finger detangle. I do not suggest using any brushes or combs trying to like detangle your hair while this is in. And you're just gonna repeat the same process throughout your whole head. So I just want to show you how my hair is looking so far. You can see the curls coming through the mask. And it's time for a happy dance because your girl got no heat damage. Y'all feel me? So if you're interested in knowing how I even straighten my hair and what steps that I took to prevent me getting heat damage, you might want to click the suggested video above.
So as you can see, my hair is now completed. I've applied the whole mask throughout my whole head. And this is what my hair is looking like. This is what your hair would look like once you apply this mask, if you straighten your hair. And this is as much mask that I had left. So as you can see, the tip where I split the mask into four sections really helped. So now I'm just gonna show you the next step in getting these curls back to popping. Now that you've left the mask in for about 20 minutes, this is what your hair is gonna look like. And now it's off to shampooing. What I'm doing now is just rinsing all the mask out with lukewarm water. And you'd wanna make sure you rinse this mask out thoroughly because there is some pieces of this mask that will still be left in your hair if you do not rinse it out properly before shampooing. As I continue to rinse the mask out my hair, you can see how prominent my curls are popping through. And that is exactly what I wanted. So with the help of the Olaplex treatment and the Acetide Clay mask, my curls are back. They back, y'all. They back. Like, they never left. The shampoo I'm going to be using today is from Design Essentials, and it's the Almond and Avocado Shampoo. People say that you don't really have to shampoo after using the mask, but I feel like my hair doesn't really feel as clean when I rinse out the mask as opposed to me just going over my hair with like a light shampoo after I rinse out the mask. And this is just going to be a run through of my wash day. If you want a more in-depth version, I will get, leave a suggested video for you to get a better version of how my wash day usually goes down. Next, I'm going to deep condition my hair with the Shea Moisture Manuka Honey Treatment Mask. And after I straighten my hair, I just want to make sure that I really put the moisture back into my hair. So as I apply my deep conditioner, of course, I'm going to work in sections, but you already knew that. And I'm just going to apply the mask from my ends to my roots, making sure I really work it into my strands. And then I'm going to tangle from my ends to my roots, of course, because that's going to avoid breakage. Once you, if you try to detangle your hair from your roots, you're more prone to bring it breakage and then I'm just gonna twist that up and after I twist my hair up I kind of twirl the ends a bit and then I wipe all the excess uh, products out of my twist by just gently rubbing down on it and then I repeat that process throughout my whole head Now I hope you all enjoyed that little song break. So I'm just gonna show you what I'm gonna do next. Now that all my twists have all the deep conditioner in it, I just like to put a plastic bag over my head and then I like to leave it in for 20 minutes. And then after I do that, I'm just going to rinse it out with warm water just to make sure that my cuticles stay open. I do not rinse with cold water because that closes my cuticles. Once you rinse out all the excess conditioner, deep conditioner from your hair, and that is it, you are ready to style your hair. So I hope this video has helped someone in some way. The tips that I gave today could help revert your curls back. And if you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you all in my next video. So until next time, bye. Your love is real life, yeah. like a type of